How can you be afraid of any nation? What is the last point of you? Death, right? What else you gonna do? This is the final point of every person, death. And Muslims, that is our faith. Everyone has to die. But we cannot live like the hyenas. We cannot live like donkeys. Can't you understand this point? We are Muslims. And this, is, should, this should be inculcated in us, the bravery, the boldness. We should not be afraid of anyone because when you say we are Muslim, it means that all my life and everything in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Death will come when the time will come. Death will not come. And this is also the message from Khalid ibn Walid when he was dying on his bed, uh, deathbed, bedridden. He said that to tell to the people that if the death was to come, then Khalid ibn Walid was dead long away. Because he fought many great battles and he urged for, uh, you know, getting martyred in the way of Allah. But Allah, is, uh, you know, didn't want that. And when he was dying and he gave message to the cowards that don't get afraid. If death was something to, to catch you, then Khalid ibn Walid would have died long ago. Uh, he's alive with all bruises. And he said that there's not a single part in my body where there is no bruise of fighting. Then why are we afraid? What's the matter with us? It's mental enslavement. Mental enslavement is the worst, worst, worst kind of comfort zone. Every one of us has developed a comfort zone in Pakistan. People living in the area, they said that, okay, we are picture perfect. We don't need any kind of reformation. We don't need any kind of correction. We don't need any straight jacketing. So now he has his comfort zone. He has his made his own way of criterion to go to paradise. Tazkiya and nafs, a zone. He thinks that these are my aqidah, these are my doctrine, these are my dogmas. I have to do these, these, these things and this is enough. My rites and rituals are enough. I don't care people die or people are alive. What's happening in Palestine, I don't give, don't care what's happening in Burma. I don't care what's happening in Syria. I don't care what's happening on and on. I have my own comfort zone. I am going to Jannah. You know, there is a hadith of Prophet, hadith Qudsi. Jibreel came to Prophet and said, Allah commanded me to Jibreel, go to one of the cities and destroy that city upside down. And then I said, Jibreel is quoting, then I said to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, there is one abd, there is one slave of yours, who is not leaving you into seclusion even the blink of an eye. Tarfatul Ain. He is not leaving you and he's doing worshipping. I said, who is, which saint or Sufi is right now alive who is not leaving Allah into seclusion for the blink of an eye? Do you have any candidate? No. What Allah says? Allah says, Jibreel, throw that city on his face first, then kill others. Why? Because this guy is doing worshipping and he does not care what's happening around him, surrounding, around his environment. This is it. You think your rites and rituals will save you? No! Rites and rituals along the methodology of Prophet ﷺ that you have to live for others, don't be animals. Then you are being, you know, salvaged. Otherwise you will have your own tazkiyah nafs. Implementation of khilafah. This is Islamic social, political, economic system. You call it khilafah, whatever you want to change the name, it's up to you. But the system was that everything is going through the methodology of Prophet or Sunnah or Hadith or Quran. This is the principle. You want to change the name into put democracy, you want to change it to kingdom, whatsoever. As long as it is the effect of Khilafah, meaning you are representative of God, you are a viceroy of God, acceptable.